What's up, everybody? Good Friday morning, and here we are in a little bit of a weird position where the Seahawks are coming off a game where they played really good pass defense. It was probably the best thing they did in that game. Uh, they completely shut down Jalen Hurts' passing ability. They limited the Eagles' really good receiving core to not a heck of a lot of production and were able to, by and large, win the game because the Eagles' passing attack was ineffective, and yet these pass rush numbers we're going to look at are really bad. Like, we've had a couple games this year that are about as bad, but this is right down there with a pass rush against the Rams in Week 1 and then the Ravens game. So it's kind of a weird spot to be in. I, uh, I look at these numbers and I wonder how this happened, because generally speaking, you do not... Um, you do not win a game and you do not have a good pass defense when your pass rush numbers are this lackluster. And watching that game, I think we all knew how bad our pass rush was. But to break it out into numbers, this is going to be real quick. Draymond Jones had two pressures, so he was actually one of our better players on defense, so good for Draymond. Leonard Williams had one pressure, and that's it for the whole defensive line. And uh, nothing from the linebackers. We got one pressure from an edge player. It was Boye Mafe. I think that was on the play where he knocked the pass down as Jalen Hurts let it go. So good for uh, Boye Mafe. And that's it. Nothing else. That's four pressures in one game. And this is going to be a really quick video because I don't know what else to say. I don't want to sit here and complain too much because we won and the pass defense was great. But, I mean, you see the contradiction here, don't you guys? All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks.